Hello, oh. not better? Hello. Hello, guys. Wait a second. Yeah, right now I can hear you pretty well. So, how are you doing? What were you doing before our lesson, Roma? Mm -hmm. What were you doing before our lesson? I was watching some old anime. Oh, cartoons. cartoons. Okay, Natalia, what about you? What were you doing before our lesson? I edited my video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> I uh, finished it. <laughs> oh, so that's <laughs> that's that's great. So you have finished it. Okay, guys. Uh, have you seen Quizlet? I have sent it to you. Oh no, in Viber. Have you seen it? Yes. Yes, you looked. Okay, nice. This coming great, Rama. Have you seen Quizlet? Oh no, you haven't. Rama? Mm, In our yet. Viber. Not yet. Okay. Yes, yes, nice. Right. Yeah? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, nice thing. Hello. Hello. How are you? Mm, mm, I'm, I'm fine. fine. Great. So, guys, I'm so happy today. I'm a happy teacher because everybody uh, has done their homework. So, I'm a happy teacher today. So, let's continue let's try to do this one you need just to read it okay one by one come on natale i was a bit alarmed at by how much money my friend had spent mm -hmm. roma roma she is uh, amused by or at his behavior mm -hmm. uh, nice day uh, I'm anxious about the situation in Ukraine. Uh -huh. Natalia? Where have you been? I was anxious for you. Uh -huh. Anxious. Yeah, tell me. Anxious. anxious. Uh -huh. Roma? I felt very bitter about my childhood. Uh -huh. Nice job. Uh, because my mother felt ashamed of me. Uh -huh. He seems content with his life. Mm -hmm. Aroma? I became disillusioned with politics. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Disillusioned. Disillusioned. Mm -hmm. With politics. With politics. Okay. Nice job. Uh, people are in use of his success. Mm -hmm. Natalia? He gets frustrated when people don't understand what he's trying to say. Mm -hmm. Roma? I was publicly humiliated by him. Tell me, I was publicly humiliated by him. I was publicly Repeat. humiliated by him. Humiliated. Repeat. Humiliated. Mm -hmm. Nice job. I am... In this side, I can't make good decisions. Repeat. I'm in in this so indecisive. Oh my god. I'm indecisive. <laughs> I'm indecisive. I can make yeah. good decisions. Mm -hmm. Natalia? I'm decisive. I can make good decisions. Mm -hmm. Roma? The girl feels miserable since they split up. Mm -hmm. uh, Nastya? Ukrainians are stressed because of their war. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm thrilled because I miss you. Yeah, don't forget. But I'm thrilled. I'm Maybe? thrilled. Uh -huh. Rama? He reminds a bit about the future. Uh -huh. Guys, let's play a game. So let's do this one. Oh, no. Yeah. We are going to play a game. So what you need to do, you will see uh, something and you need to find the explanation or something like that. Something is very easy for you, <laughs> but someone is very difficult. You will see. Okay, let's do it. Uh, wait a second. Three, 
sorry yeah <laughs> so guys uh i am sending you the link into our viber chat uh please use your mobile phones or you can scan this code for example no matter do it and i am waiting oh i will send it i will send it into our viber yeah this is it come on just coming where is my phone don't forget to write down your name or something uh, let me do this one mm -hmm. Oh, Rama is here. Great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's here. Great. So, guys, let's start a game. Come on. Let's do it. So, you can see the first one and you need to think what it is. It is not difficult, but <laughs> you have to be attentive. That's it. Who is the winner? <laughs> <laughs> so, who is the winner here? Oh, let's go. You should be just very attentive. So, let's see. Uh -huh. Always be attentive. Oh, congratulations, Anastasia. Nastya, congratulations. You are the winner here today. Thank you. Yes, that's you, right? Anastasia, Anastasia. Anastasia. <laughs> this is Thank you. Anastasia. Guys, who is Bizoni? Oh, I am Bizoni. <laughs> so I'm number two and number three and four. So guys, yeah, it was not difficult, really. You should be just attentive because it was a tricky. And there was something else. Let's... Uh, what is it? It's interesting. I don't know. Let's try to do this one, guys. It's the same uh what i don't know what can you see my screen right yeah i don't know what game it is let's try to do that something new is here so guys have you found подивіться зверху у вас там є назва початок речення ви повинні знайти його знайти чи Определение его, так, или слово какое-то. Ната Настя, Наталья, working, Рома is here, okay. <laughs> so, and the winner is... Oh, Наталья, you are the winner today. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's very interesting to play games, especially in English. Рома is on the second place, and Настя is on the second place too. Great. So, guys, let's continue our lesson. It was fun to do that. <laughs> and now let's speak about idioms. So, when we are very happy, what do we say? Like idiom? Um, or, yeah, Nasta. Uh, when you're are very happy. Thrilled. Yeah, you're thrilled or what is it? Or, uh, another yes. Or, Roma, what can we say? One more. E on quote nine. Yeah, guys, can you tell me? Remember the episode of your life when you were over the moon and why? What was it? Okay, let's uh, think about happy moments of our lives. <laughs> so, when were you over the moon? Or, or maybe, oh, let's speak now. No, not let's speak about the past. Let's speak about future. What needs to happen that you will be over the moon? Okay, of course, we, you, all Ukrainians have only one desire, I think, only one dream. <laughs> yeah, but what else? What can uh, help you to be over the moon? Okay, think about it. Natalia? What? Um, maybe when I will found, uh, I will find the work what I like. Uh -huh. Yeah, and then I'll be. Uh, and then I. I will, I be, will be over right. some. Yeah, great and well paid job right it's important yes. <laughs> yeah okay rama what about you when will you be over the moon 
Yeah, I don't know. Really? Why? Uh, yeah. Will you be over the moon when uh, you are a millionaire? Mm, not sure. Oh, really? You're a real philosopher. Okay, think about it. What do you need to be over the moon, okay? Nastya, what about you? About me, I think yeah. that I'll also be all, all over the moon because uh, if I find a really great job, uh, also, mm -hmm. like in the Yeah, also. Do you need to work? Are you going to work during summer? Mm -hmm, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, a diploma of uh, eyebrows master or how to oh, say that <laughs> really great oh it gives so, you a lot of opportunities i'm proud of you my darling that's great yeah that's wonderful so maybe you can um make um you can do some beautiful eyebrows right to your friends to your mom first of yes. all <laughs> Ah, oh, that's wonderful. I wish you that all your dreams come true and you'll be a real professional and you will have a high paid job. Okay, great. Rama, what about you? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay, will you be over the moon when you come back to Ukraine or oh, no? No. No, no, okay. Roma, you are a very modest person. Okay, so let's continue, guys. Let's do like this one. So here they are. You have got some uh, idioms. We need to guess uh, what these idioms mean. Okay, so look through everything. Uh, I will give you maybe four minutes. You read it and think about it. Which word is the best here? Okay, so four minutes for you, and then we will double check together. Maybe four, four, three minutes for you. Okay, so look at the words, look at these idioms, and try to guess. Some of them are very easy to guess, like be green with envy. I'm sure you, you can guess what it is or lose face, but some of them are rather difficult. Okay. So, guys, three minutes for you. In three minutes, we will double check. Okay, guys, let's try to do that. So, let's come on, let's do it. Uh, Natalia, let's read the first one. Be down in the dumps. Mm -hmm. Your idea, what is it? Maybe miserable. Exactly, right. That is miserable, right. Because when we say dumps, it's like rubbish dump rubbish basket rubbish bin or rubbish dump and be down in the dump so you feel miserable you can say oh i'm down in the dumps yeah it means like i feel miserable thank you rama rama blow your top uh -huh. what do you think when you blow your top furious Yes, exactly. Yeah, when you're furious, you can say, I blow my top. Okay, next one. Uh, Nastya, or? Um, be on edge. Uh -huh. What yes, is the edge? Name? I know, why you tell me. Edge, when it is edge, we like this one. We say like, uh, be on edge. What can we say? Like this one. Mm -hmm be on edge mm -hmm. um, what can we use here two words you also can use furious i think yeah furious can be but we used furious and maybe mm -hmm. yeah um, any ideas come on um, hysterical yes you're very close right stressed right so be on the edge, be oh, on edge, it means like you're stressed. Oh, oh and yes, or you can say anxious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is it. Like, 
Oh, like this one. <laughs> no. Okay, Natalia, your turn. Go on. Something gets on your nerves. Uh -huh. Mm. I thought it's stressed, but uh, I don't know. No, something gets in your nerves. It drives me crazy. It drives Irritate. me off the wall. Yes. <laughs> yes. Irritated. I don't know why, but they have a lot of phrases like it gets on my nerves. Yeah. For example, your behavior gets on my nerves or it drives me up the wall. It drives me crazy. That is uh, everything like irritated, annoyed, irritated. This is it. Next one, Roma. A green with envy. Uh -huh. mm, envious? Yes, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Of course, envious. Um, Nastya. Nastya? Uh, yes. Uh, be green with uh, no, no, uh, seven. Lose face, or uh, maybe be lose face, uh, humiliated. Yes, exactly. Yeah, humiliated. Mm -hmm. uh, Natalia? Tearing your hair out. Uh, like this? <laughs> what emotions? There are a lot of variants. Three as well have it. Disillusioned. Uh, disillusioned, yes. But what else can it be? Like a bit gorge. What is it? Better. Mm -hmm. What else can it be? Mm. Better. Mm -hmm. Frost. Frustrated. Yeah. And even exasperated. Exasperated. Yeah, when you're tearing your hair out, you're exasperated. Okay, go on. Uh, next one. Uh, Roman, your turn. It was my turn. Oh, oh no. Nastya, sorry. Yeah, yes. Uh, no, 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 Roman. No, no, it's, it's, Roman. it's Roman's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Be in two minds about something. Mm -hmm. When you can't uh, make the decisions. Disillusioned. No, not disillusioned, but... Indecisive. Indecisive. When indecisive. you're indecisive, uh, you can't make good decisions. You're indecisive, indecisive, or you're confused. You can say, "Oh, I'm in two minds. I don't know what to choose," and you're indecisive because of that. Okay, excellent, guys. So that's great. Uh, let's think about it. Uh, choose, please. Uh, will you choose one emotion? And tell me something about your life, or you can make up your own situation, but use idioms, okay? Think about it. Uh, you have just a minute to think about it. Maybe if you're ready, let's do it right now. How did you feel? Why? Nice tap. Uh, can you repeat, please? You need to make up one sentence. Uh, oh, okay. Tell me the story of your life using one of the idioms. For example, yesterday my son got on my nerves. Really, he didn't want to do anything. And yeah, he got on my nerves. So, what about you, Nastya? Um, Mm. Come on. Okay, think about it. Rama? Um, I'm feeling frustrated because I'm watching only one cartoon mm -hmm. all, all the time. So, you heard I was tearing my hair out because... Yeah, yeah, you need because to use I, idiom. So one more time. Mm, I was... I was tearing my hair out because I'm watching only one cartoon. 
series. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because you watched only one cartoon. Okay. Uh, Natalia, what about you? Um, I was down in the dumps um, mm -hmm. when I failed my driving test the second time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay, such a lie. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for sharing your experience. Nastya, what about you? Mm, I'm really in this side or in the side or other side. No, 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 no. Tell me. I was in two side. minds. No, no, no. You need to use idiom. I was in two minds about what? Uh, okay. I was in two minds mm, about... Uh, buying my snake or no uh -huh. okay that's great okay yes. Bye. Uh -huh. what no okay. nothing that's it okay so you were in two minds about buying a thing or not yeah that's okay indecisive great thank you okay guys excellent uh, now let's have a look here, look at my screen here. Uh, so about irritated, yeah, it drives me crazy. And as I told you, a lot of variants of how to say that. Uh, come on, Rama, it is? It is annoying and you, you are irritated. Yeah, okay. Uh, Natalia? It gets on my nerves. Mm -hmm. Nice, yeah? Uh, yes, uh, it drives me nuts. Yeah, it drives me nuts. It also that irritates you, yeah. Uh, great, Natalia? It drives me up the wall. Mm -hmm. And Roma? Mm, it goes me up the wall. So if you want to say that you're annoyed, Yes, you're irritated. You can use not only I'm annoyed, yeah, or I'm irritated. You can use some one of these phrases and that's okay. So look at it. Here are the things that uh, drive people crazy. <laughs> Let's look at this one. Uh, I'd like you to read this one by yourself. Read these situations. What situations can drive people crazy? Okay. And you need, you need to oops lesson two stop stop no it's too early <laughs> so guys you need to read these situations and after that tell me which situation irritates you the most okay so think about it you have to read it and which situation irritates you the most so you have got two minutes to read it so guys let's think about it okay uh, Roma, what drives you crazy? Which of these things drives you crazy? Um, people who always wear famous brands and uh, their computer freezing can, or crashing. Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> can you explain your position? Well, it's... Uh, it's um, what about um, people? why they irritate you that they wear famous brands well there there were some uh, advertisement uh, of the brand mm -hmm. i don't care about you what you're wearing mm -hmm. i don't care you don't care nobody care oh okay. mm -hmm. great yeah good point thank you natalia what about you um Dog owners not cleaning up after their dogs. Mm -hmm. Why is it so important for you? It drives you crazy, okay? Yes, because um, you, uh, when you give the dog, you need to take care about this dog and about... Uh, um, and other right. people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great, thank you. Uh, nice, Del, what about you? What drives um, you crazy? About me. Mm, uh -huh. About me. Um, then the people eating popcorn in the cinema very loud. 
It really drives me crazy. <laughs> okay, why? <laughs> because uh, I can't watch movie when something is happening around me, then different sounds, and then people talking or ever eating very loud. Uh -huh. oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, uh, where is it? For me, uh, actually, it drives me this point. Social media trolls, trolls when they ask your opinion. What is your opinion about this question or that question? What is your attitude about this one? Uh, really, uh, especially when you want to watch a film or a video on YouTube and there is a troll. Please choose, make a choice. Uh, it really irritates me. Okay, guys, right now we will listen to four speakers and their answers to the questions. So look at this one. Uh, what does it mean, get on nerves? It means what? Is that it? Yes, yes, it come on. Irritates, yeah. What does it mean? Uh, make uh, not make blow her top. What is it? What blow her top? It's like Roma, Nastya. Mm, uh, okay. Furious. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, when furious. Yeah, blow her top. It's like furious. Next one. Over the moon. What does it mean? Uh. That and you're very happy, be happy, very, very, thrilled. Very happy. Yes, you are very happy or thrilled. Yeah, we say like thrilled. And being two minds about what is it? Uh, is uh indec indecisive. Indecisive. Yeah, you can't make good decisions. So, guys, uh, look at this one. Look at these questions. Please look through. I give you twenty seconds to look through. Mm -hmm. So, right now, I'm not going to pause or to stop the recording. You will listen to it, everything, please. Take a pen and take notes while you're listening, because after that, I will ask you. Okay? Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Unit 2. Can you hear? Yeah? Mm -hmm. okay. yes. Lesson 2A. Exercises 7 and 9. One. Well, I don't suppose it's very important, but something that I find really irritating is when people are always updating their status on social networking sites. I'm really not interested in hearing how thrilled someone is with their new shoes, or how they feel about going to the coolest pizzeria in town. But what really gets on my nerves are the emotional messages that appear every five minutes about how somebody is missing their boyfriend or girlfriend terribly and how miserable they feel. What's more, they've usually only been going out with each other for about a week. 2. I get really mad when I go to the cinema and people are constantly eating popcorn. I really blow my top. I don't just sit there feeling angry. I tell people to keep quiet. My boyfriend says that one day someone is going to react in a hostile way. But for the moment, nobody has said anything. But they haven't stopped eating popcorn either. They eat more quietly for a while, but gradually it starts getting louder and louder. And for one week at the end of this month, my local cinema is offering free snacks with every film, so it's only going to get worse. 3. I was over the moon when I got a new laptop for Christmas, but since I've had it, I've had nothing but problems. The first day, it took ages to start up, but I just thought it was because I had transferred all my documents to it the night before. But every time I switch it on, it works more and more slowly. It's so slow that I feel like tearing my hair out. Right now, it's downloading some photos from my mobile, and after 30 minutes, it still hasn't transferred half of them. I feel really frustrated every time I use it. 
I'm taking it back to the shop tomorrow, and I hope something can be done about it. 4. I have to say, I'm in two minds about participating in more online forums. I'm participating in one about recycling at the moment, but there are lots of trolls who are always criticising the green movement and even insulting some of the contributors. I have to admit that I'm amused by some of the comments, but the rude ones leave me fuming. The moderator is making some changes to the site next month, but the trolls always find a way of getting their silly messages through. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to continue taking part. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm here. I have given my son his mobile phone because such messages drive me up the wall, really. Such sounds. So what about the first one? What gets on speakers' nerves? Any ideas? Yeah, who want to answer? Mm. Yeah, Natalia. What gets on speaker nerves? People who constantly post social media updates. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it gets. Okay, <laughs> Natalia, it's for you, like a blogger, right? <laughs> right? Oh, I wanted to ask about your boyfriend. Does it get on his nerves that you are a blogger, a popular blogger, or it's okay for him? No, it's okay. It <laughs> uh, takes a lot of time, based on, so um, he, it's okay. <laughs> okay <sorry. laughs> it doesn't get. It doesn't get on. It, it doesn't, doesn't get on his. On on his nerves okay yeah okay great rama what makes speaker two blow her top uh the people who eat popcorn knows in the cinema mm -hmm, exactly yeah this is it okay nice tell why was speaker three over the moon uh the speaker three was over the moon because he bought a new laptop but mm -hmm. after this, he was frustrated because the laptop uh, was uh, very slow when mm -hmm. he used it. Yeah, great, guys. Thank you, Vitaly. The last one is for you. Uh, what is speaker four in two minds about? Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, something about media troll and I... No, not like this. About media here, but not in this case. Roma, do you remember? Okay, okay. Uh, what? No. No? Nastya, what about you? Have you heard about, it? Um, Number four. Oh, I've forgotten. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, let's listen to the last uh, speaker, okay? Try to hear. Why is she in two minds, okay? And what? What is she about? In one about recycling and more online forum. Four. Ready? I have to say, I'm in two minds about participating in more online forums. I'm participating in one about recycling at the moment, but there are lots of trolls who are always criticising the green movement and even insulting some of the contributors. I have to admit that I'm amused by some of the comments, but the rude ones leave me fuming. The moderator is making some changes to the site next month, but the trolls always find a way of getting their silly messages through. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to continue taking part. Uh -huh. Guys, what was it? Remember? So she was in two minds about what? Guys, Natalia, Roma, Nastya. Online forums. Yeah, about participating in. Yeah, participating. Yes, you're right. Come on, come on, tell me. Uh, participating in online forums. Yes, exactly. Participate is like take part in. Yeah, it's the same. So we can say participate or take part in. Yeah, be a part of a team. Yes, you're right. Thank you. Great. Okay, guys, let's continue about this.
yeah go out go out yeah you need if you need to go out yeah guys uh we can also let's remember about present continuous when so present continuous is something happening right now or about now but it's also about uh somebody's annoying behavior and then somebody's behavior is annoying it drives you up the wall you use present continuous and you use the word always even in present continuous because it drives you up the wall it drives you crazy yeah this is it that's why uh you can use it like present continuous and of course we're using present continuous for future arrangements so let's remember um, examples roma i am uh, i am watching a film mm -hmm. uh, natalia He's always checking his mobile phone. Yes, Nasty is not here. Uh, Roma? Yeah, I'm visiting him in this afternoon. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's look at this one. You need to read the question and answer it. Yeah, what is happening now? What is in a boy and what is a future arrangement? Let's read, first of all. We'll try to guess this one. Uh, so, Roma, can you read the first question? Mm, why does speaker one think that the comments yes. that uh -huh. that he always reading on the social network sites about people relationships are strange? Uh, what do you think in this question? The author means that it is happening now, a knowing habit. Or future arrangement in this question what is he speaking about mm. Mm. yeah when you mm. see he's always reading what is it the social network sets yeah but what is it it's an annoying, an annoying habit habit yeah when we say always it means like he's talking about that something annoys him right okay natalia number two what is the social cinema doing that will make a situation worse for speaker two what is it happening now or future arrangements or annoying habit future arrangements yes i agree nastya can you hear me no, Roma, really? Roma, I can't hear you. Mm. I'm a speaker free doing tomorrow the so his problem with the laptop. Mm -hmm. What is it? Happ what is it? Is it about happening now and knowing habit of future arrangements? Future arrangements. Exactly right, Natalia. Um, what is speaker for reading is it? says she finds funny something but very annoying at other time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sometimes only yeah she finds sometimes yeah what is it happening now and when habit of future arrangement happening now yes exactly happening now so guys look through all these questions again you have to hear the answers for all these questions so just 30 seconds to look through all the questions okay so guys take some notes take a pen and try to answer me these questions at the end of it okay let's go unit two lesson 2a exercises seven and nine one well i don't suppose it's very important but something that I find really irritating is when people are always updating their status on social networking sites. I'm really not interested in hearing how thrilled someone is with their new shoes or how they feel about going to the coolest pizzeria in town. But what really gets on my nerves are the emotional messages that appear every five minutes about how somebody is missing their boyfriend or girlfriend terribly and how miserable they feel. What's more, they've usually only been going out with each other for about a week. 2. I get really mad when I go to the cinema and people are constantly eating popcorn. I really blow my top. I don't just sit there feeling angry. I tell people to keep quiet. 
My boyfriend says that one day someone is going to react in a hostile way, but for the moment nobody has said anything. But they haven't stopped eating popcorn either. They eat more quietly for a while, but gradually it starts getting louder and louder. And for one week at the end of this month, my local cinema is offering free snacks with every film, so it's only going to get worse. Three. I was over the moon when I got a new laptop for Christmas, but since I've had it, I've had nothing but problems. The first day, it took ages to start up, but I just thought it was because I had transferred all my documents to it the night before. But every time I switch it on, it works more and more slowly. It's so slow that I feel like tearing my hair out. Right now, it's downloading some photos from my mobile, and after thirty minutes, it still hasn't transferred half of them. I feel really frustrated every time I use it. I'm taking it back to the shop tomorrow, and I hope something can be done about it. Four. I have to say, I'm in two minds about participating in more online forums. I'm participating in one about recycling at the moment, but there are lots of trolls who are always criticising the green movement and even insulting some of the contributors. I have to admit that I'm amused by some of the comments, but the rude ones leave me fuming. The moderator is making some changes to the site next month, but the trolls always find a way of getting their silly messages through. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to continue taking part. Uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Okay, guys. So let's try to do that.、Uh, Man Rama, why does speaker one think that the comments that he's always reading on social media websites about people's relationships are strange? Rama, sound. I can hear you. Because he thinks that、uh, me. You giving their personal information? Um. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. You give your personal information, but that was no information about this one in the recording. No, Natalia. Do you remember number one?、Uh, because he he think he think he think he thinks right. He thinks、uh, that it's not. Isn't interesting. <laughs> uh、mm、huh. -hmm. Yeah, it's it isn't interesting. And there was one more, guys. Yeah, it isn't interesting what they are doing. Yeah, and about people's relationship, they say why it's so strange because these people go out together only one week. Yeah, they go out for a week, so it means like they are a couple for a week. And they show their relationships for, to everyone. Oh, I miss him. I love her, and so on. And that is strange for him. Thank you, Nastya. Can you hear me? Yes. No. No. Okay.、Uh, Rama, the next. What is the local cinema doing that will make a bad situation worse for speaker two? Hmm.、Um, the people who are eating popcorn all. Yeah, but what will make the situation worse, Dale? Yeah, they eat a lot, and、uh, so local cinema gives free snacks. Yeah, we'll give it. We'll give them free snacks. 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 Snake. It, this is it. <laughs> That is snack. snack. Snake. Snack. <laughs> okay.、Uh, Nast Natalia, for you, what is speaker? Oh, Nastya, can you hear me? Nice thinker. Yes, number three. Yeah, what is speaker three doing tomorrow to solve the problem with the laptop? Uh, um, as I remember, uh, he will go to the shop and uh, he will give them this uh, lap. Yeah, he will give back this laptop. Yes,、yeah? so he will take back the laptop to the shop, right? Exactly,、uh, Natalia. What is speaker for reading that she finds funny and、uh, funny or amused sometimes, but very annoying at other times? 
Наталя? Remember? Yes, no? You can say I don't remember. That's okay. I don't remember. Uh, Rama, have you heard? No. No, guys, it's, why don't you like number four? What's the problem with the fourth speaker? Nastya, do you remember? <laughs> Nastya? No. Okay, guys, look at question number four again. Let's listen to question. Uh, let's listen to speaker four and answer me the questions. Let's go. Uh, I hope. Be done about it. Transferred half of them. I feel really frustrated every time more online for two minds about participating. Use it. I'm taking it back to the shop tomorrow, and I hope mm -hmm. something can get be ready. done about it. Okay, get ready. Four. I have to say, I'm in two minds about participating in more online forums. I'm participating in one about recycling at the moment, but there are lots of trolls who are always criticizing the green movement and even insulting some of the contributors. I have to admit that I'm amused by some of the comments, but the rude ones leave me fuming. The moderator is making some changes to the site next month, but the trolls always find a way of getting their silly messages through. So I'll have to decide if I'm going to continue taking part. Mm -hmm. So, guys, what is Speaker 4 reading that she finds them funny sometimes? Natalia, Roma, Nastya? Come on, mm. guys. What is it? What What is she reading? Roma? Come on, Natalia. No? No? Okay, Nastya? Nastya, guys. Okay, she's reading comments. Yeah, she. I am amused of reading comments, but uh, they are funny, but sometimes they are very annoying. And trolls, remember like trolls, uh, it can be when they ask your opinion, but when we speak about people, trolls, they are haters, like haters, right? People who don't like somebody's video and so on. Natalia, do you have haters or no? What about you? A lot you? of haters I have. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Okay, great. Guys, have a look here. Will you please look through all these speakers' speeches and find me idioms and the first one, idioms about characters and the words which mean characters. Okay, like used and so on. Please underline them. If some of your friends underline them, don't do that. Come on. I'm waiting. Like this one, yeah? Got, get on my nerves. Yeah, it is here, right. I'm waiting. Right, top, right, great. Yeah, this one, don't forget about miserable, right? Nice, yeah, excellent. I'm used, yes, right. Insulting in, I think, no, it's, we don't need it, like this one transferred. It's okay. Okay, guys, about idioms. Thank you, guys, about these idioms. Of course, you will get your homework. I'll be waiting for your homework, really. Uh, uh, it was very, I was very pleased. I was content, sorry, not pleased. I was content to get your homework. Please do your homework and send it to me. I will send it to you today. Have a good day. Goodbye. See you.